What we're trying to do, and especially on the obviously you've seen this year, Big Ten, um, those, those home games are important. A lot, of, a lot of home teams are winning, and we, we want to keep that up. We want to protect home court, and um, we'll go out tomorrow and play hard and play smart and, and see what happens. You know, two what have you guys done to address, address the defense, to improve our defense? Nice. Coach has talked about, um, you know, it's kind of just a man on man thing. You just got to go out there and get it done. But what have you guys, what steps have you taken? I'll well, just watch more film on their opponents, um, breaking down what, what kind of the tendencies they like to do. Um, and just taking it out of the court uh, and challenging one, one another and just getting better. And, uh, we're, we're learning from each other, we're learning from the film and uh, watching film and uh, we're just growing, from, growing and learning. How confident are you that you guys can to make some strides here defensively the rest of this season? I'm very confident. I mean, I, I, know, I know the team we have and the guys on the team. Um, they, they all lie in each and every day and little by little. Um, just one percent at a time, as Coach always says, and um, a little bit, little, um, we'll, we'll, we can do it. So I'm curious, how has Isaiah handled being out and just the uncertainty of when you get back, when you? What have you seen from him, and, and how has he still impacted the team, even though he's not playing? Um, he's been like another coach out there, uh, helping us. Uh, he's been obviously he's been on the bench. Uh, from the bench, it's a different view from the game. So he's always giving us tips, um, helping us uh, when we're coming off. Um, even in the classroom too, um, if we have a little downtime or something, he's always talking to us outside of basketball as well. And um, he's really just like another coach right now, and we're hoping to get him back as soon as possible. Did that six hours on the plane uh, introduce some bond to this team? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, just a lot of just chilling and talking to each other, and um, just getting to know each other even more and the closer you get on those kind of close components. Thanks, John. Yeah. The vibe after Sunday's game felt a lot different than the vibe after Friday's. Do you guys feel like you're close? Do you feel like you're right there and, and have the, the potential to start, you know, racking up some wins? Yeah, definitely. I mean, some things during the game could change. We could change and get us over the hump. But I definitely think we're right there. Um, one or two plays, one or two things down the stretch. Um, just those little things like that, that winning, that, that, that winning matters. And um, we, we can change that. And I know we can, and the guys, they, they know they can too. And um, we just got to put it all together for a full game. John, what are some of those little things that's pointing to? I'm um, just contesting on the shots even more. Um, the shot clock's kind of going down, getting more hand up even more. Um, boxing out, you know, uh, kind of in the shot clocks, like I mentioned. Um, just getting stop, key stops. Uh, we were up five or six, and they came down and hit a three. Um, we, we, we get a stop there, we go down, we hit a three, we're up nine. It's kind of a six point swing right there. And so, kind of things like that um, that can change the game quickly, like that. I think you have four of your next six are at home. I mean, how critical is this stretch in terms of you guys maybe climbing back up these Big Ten standings? It's huge. I mean, home games are important. We want to protect home court. And I mean, we, we, we can get on a little winning streak. I mean, we, we can still win the Big Ten. We're capable of doing that. And we know we can. And we just got to take it one game at a time, one practice at a time, and um, just slowly but surely. And what gives you that confidence that you guys can kind of make this leap back climb? Um, I just know the team that we have in the locker room. Um, us 15 guys, uh, we, we, we stuck together at the highs and lows. Uh, we know what we're capable of. Uh, we know the high level we can play at. We just got to get back to that and um, just execute down the stretch and just um, and that, at the same time have fun, but go out there and execute. Juwan said defensively it's not really a schematic thing. It's more just a man-on-man -man improving. How do you do that in this season where you're trying to improve man-to-man -man -man defense? Uh, I mean, still repping it out in practice at the same time, um, watching film. On, on, on your opponent, the tendencies of what they like to do. Um, I mean, every day in practice, we're drilling it one on one stuff. And so I'm just little by little, and um, just, you know, kind of clicks, hopefully, for some of the guys. But yeah.